Hey everybody, it's Chris. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to a new thrilling episode of Chris's No Gear Reviews. Uh, today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We're not going to be talking about electronics or technology or camera gear or any of that stuff. We're going to be talking about something a tad more mundane, but in my opinion, just as important. And that is your wallet. And more specifically, my new favorite wallet from the Beard Show. So let's just jump in and talk about it. So I just wanted to say off the top that I am affiliated with the Beard Struggle. I am a brand ambassador, a brand Viking as we call it. Uh, but I bought this wallet with my own money. I did get a discount on it because of being a brand ambassador, but it wasn't much. And they don't have any say, any input, any of that stuff. And uh, this video in the Brand Ambassador program is not great at my level. I don't even have an affiliate code that I could use to make any kind of kickback off selling this to you. So this is literally just my own thoughts and my own love for this piece of kit. So with all of that out of the way, let's just jump in and talk about it. Okay, first off, I am a slim wallet kind of uh, person. I have been using a slim wallet for 10 plus years. Uh, the one, the wallet I'm replacing this wallet with uh, is one I've been having for 10 years. I backed it in the Kickstarter program and uh, it just, it did everything I wanted to, but it is now showing its age and falling apart and fraying and just not holding up anymore. And so I jumped in to this wallet, but just off the top, uh, I live in the future, so I don't carry cash as a rule. All of my wallet is dedicated to cards of some sort. Uh, there is a capacity to hold uh, cash. There's like a elastic money clip kind of thing uh, that will show in the very minimal B-roll. But uh, for the most part, I don't use that. Everything I do is geared towards cards. And, and that's a big deal because this wallet is really well made for those of us who are card carrying folk. The part that holds the cards is actually made of metal and does RFID shielding, if that matters to you, uh, and sits nicely in the wallet and has one of those triggers that pops them all up in a staggered way so you can get to the card. Uh, it, it all works very well. It's all designed very well and built very well. Quality materials, really nice leather that's going to patina really well over time. Although I will say, I mean, it's been, sitting in my front pocket, I'm a front pocket kind of guy, uh, with my keys every single day, and it has shown almost no wear and tear. And uh, that's a really big deal with the amount of uh, abuse it takes with the amount of keys that I have to carry around every day. Uh, this wallet is significantly larger than the one that's replacing it, which was a bit of a learning curve for me. I had to get used to the larger footprint, if you will, that it takes up, especially when it's in your front pocket. Uh, with keys and things like that, but it was a quick adjustment and now I'm perfectly happy with it. And having more and a better compartment for the cards than I had previously has been just a godsend because I have, like I said, a ton of cards. Uh, I really don't have many negatives to say about it. Uh, the one big deal I have is that um, the container, if you will, the, the, the case, that holds all of the cards does not stay in the wallet very well. And um, I really wish they would have, you know, for me personally, instead of having an elastic strap to hold cash that I never have, uh, having some sort of elastic system on the edges uh, of the metal box to keep it in the wallet, because invariably I'll put it in my pocket and I'll put it uh, upside down, if you will. And that just makes the card, the, the compartment just slide out because it's metal and does it really have a lot of friction or resistance with the leather and uh that might not bother you and that's that's great but it drives me insane and so i'm always having to readjust and push things back in and it just it's an annoyance although a small one and in the grand scheme of things uh that's pretty amazing yeah uh, yeah that's it uh, i just wanted to talk about this uh really just wanting to get back into the groove of making these videos because it's been a really long time since I've been able to sit in front of the camera and make a video and I've really been feeling the, the itch to need to do that and uh, I bought a lot of gear uh, since last we spoke and I need to talk about it so this was a good quick easy way to get back in and uh, I'll be seeing you again very soon with a review of my new favorite heater 
it's a smart heater. I loved it so much. I bought it three times. So that will be a good one. Uh, let's look forward to that, and I will see you guys in the next video.